While I have my transfer paper out, I'm also going to transfer my grid on here for doing the color chart. And again, a few pieces of tape to secure that image so it doesn't slide around on you. Again, check your image, make sure it's transferred correctly. Looks good, so we'll go ahead and pull that. Okay, now the next step is we're going to start to paint the color chart and label it. So we need a pencil. The three colors that we're using are gonna be the perylene red, the Hansa yellow medium, and the French ultramarine. Now to keep from confusion, I go ahead and transfer that name onto both sides. So we've got our colors here. I don't want to get anything onto our image yet while we're painting the color chart, so we'll cover it with a piece of paper. All right, our first color is the perylene red. We want to go ahead and mark the chart in both sections that are going to be that perylene red, and then fill in the square where they both connect with a full strength perylene red. Next is going to be the Hansa yellow medium. And to keep from the colors bleeding into each other, you want to stay just a small distance apart. And then again, where the two yellows connect, we're going to do a full square of that Hansa yellow medium. Our third color today is the French ultramarine. Again, staying a slight distance away from the other color and where the two connect. We're going to do a full strength square of the French ultramarine. And then we'll begin our mixing. So the first two colors we're going to mix are the perylene red and the Hansa yellow. So first I'm going to do in this square what we call wet and wet. I'm going to paint half of the square with the red. And the other half with the Hansa yellow. And then we can see immediately the mixture of those two colors. And we'll just kind of let them mingle in the middle. For the second square that they meet in, this one here, we're going to mix in the palette. You want to make sure that you're rinsing your brush clean every time so that you get clean mixtures. And then we'll fill this square in completely with that solid orange mixture. Again, it's important to cleanly rinse your brush in between each one. That way you don't get any color mix over where you don't intend it. So here again, we're going to do the wet and wet, starting with the red.
Now where they meet again, I've already mixed in the palette. I'm going to go ahead and paint direct the full square, the mixture of those two colors. Now for the last mixture on our color chart, we're going to use the Hansa Yellow Medium and the French Ultramarine. Again, starting wet and wet. This time we're going to start with the Hansa Yellow. I'll put a little bit over here. And going to the French Ultramarine. Letting a mix right on the paper. And doing our mixture in the palette. And painting that color direct on the paper. So now we have a good quick little representation of what the color mixtures can do.